Hi, I'm here with Tim Bralka. He's the director of the Global Consulting Center for the BSS product line. Today we're going to be talking about how the operators are transforming to all digital. Hi, Tim. As we all know, it is imperative for operators to turn to digital. So in recent years, some operators such as Telefonica, Telenor, France Telecom, and China Mobile have explored and practiced the digital transformation. As a leading vendor in the BSS industry, could you share with us your perspectives on that? Yeah, I think it's absolutely the right way. It's mandatory. Otherwise, telcos would become irrelevant in, in the digital age, right? Um, just to, to, to give some, some, some background on that, um, actually all the digital service providers can process many more transactions than telcos can in a single day. They do it as a faster time for the order completion and at a fraction of the cost, right? Um, and on top of that, they understand marketing and sales in a different way. They fully embrace and inherit the social media for sales and marketing. Whereas telcos very often still use their outbound and inbound call centers to do basically one-to-one -one interaction and not embracing the, the social media paradigm, right? Um, so there, there's a lot of those uh, parts. And just to, to highlight this a little bit with um, uh, one number, um, last November, um, uh, Taobao um, had processed 170 million transactions in a single day, right? Last November, that was 11-11, right? And, and just compare that, what a telco can do, and even if we could do, would we want to do it if we have that high transaction uh, cost? So for us, it means that we actually have, um, as an operator, to move like the internet, right? To internetize our business. The concept operator moves like the internet, you mentioned, is very attractive. What specific features do operators have to consider when reshaping their BSS systems? First, I think we have to get five fundamental things straight, so, uh, which are not technology at all, right? Um, so we the, have to consider the concept of the customer. At the moment, we consider only a telco subscriber, but we have to understand the pen customer. So the customer is a human being, a social animal. So we have to understand all those aspects, right? The second is the experience, right? Um, because if we understand the customer right, we can use this for the segmentation and actually creating a better, non-fragmented customer experience. So, and the third part is the product. It's not only telco products, so it's not only the voice minute, it's not only the data, it's actually all the kinds of uh, digital goods and physical goods that we can bundle into that and offer to the, to the customer. And then the value chain. So far, the telco always wanted to dominate the telco chain, but we have to work with partners. Look at the digital world, right? How they expose and integrate their services into offerings of others and enable them. So understand our position as a partner in the value chain and an enabler for our partners as well. And last but not least, the infrastructure as such. We have to expose our ITC resources um, basically in a virtualized manner uh, to our customers. So what that says mean for the architecture itself, it would have to be a layered architecture. So a custom interaction layer, which is highly scalable and performance, but doesn't contain the data and the logic. That sits then in the service layer, the next big layer below that. And the major element of that will be the real-time decisioning support. So that's basically real-time analytics and BI to enable and trigger those decisions in real time. And that's all based on an infrastructure layer, which um, basically is based on the cloud so that we can virtualize it and be very performant. And now what are the key factors for an operator to consider when transforming to an all-digital telco? We all know that's a huge task, right? So, so that cannot be done overnight. Um, and especially when considering that you have a captive business at the moment, an existing business that you need to maintain or even grow to maintain your market position. So um, this transformation will take us several years. So there are basically two approaches that we see. So either you can go through a transformation and several transition steps. The first would be basically horizontalizing um, uh, your BSS layers to come to the BES, how we call it, the business enablement systems. So horizontal layers of revenue management and customer management across all your product silos, like the mobile, like the fixed, like the uh, TV, right? Then take this and centralize it and eventually put it on a cloud. So it's horizontalizing and standardizing, then centralizing it and adding the new features. So those would be several steps, right? But honestly, that would take long. 
or the other way could be a greenfield approach. So you build up a separate stack, right? Um, that you then only first use for new customers, so new subscribers that are joining you and new partners, and then step by step migrating the existing uh, customers segment by segment, business by business, onto this new greenfield stack and dry out the old infrastructure, and then you get there as well. So those are the two uh, ways that we actually see how we can support transforming telcos into digital telcos. Thank you so much, Tim, for sharing your ideas.